Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in Digital System Design. In this tutorial, we'll talk about ASM chart for Miele machine. Please understand ASM chart is a different representation of the state transition diagram. And the reason why we make ASM chart is the fact that it tells us about the physical hardware requirement of a digital machine. So first things first, ASM stands for Algorithm State or System Machine. In many books you'll find it as state, in other you'll find it as system. So it is Algorithm State Machine where the chart is in the form of an algorithm and the reason why we use it as i mentioned is that it tells us about the physical hardware requirement of the digital machine so before we start to make the asm chart or asm diagram or asm algorithm we need to see the basic requirements for drawing it and you need three basic components to draw an ASM chart. The first thing that you would need is the state box and symbolically it is represented using a rectangular box then you would need a decision box which is symbolically represented using a diamond shape or a rhombus shape where the transition will come from the top transition change will come from the top and these two branches will will be the decision making branches where this will be a zero or a false condition and this will be a one or a true condition and thirdly, in Miele machine, you would need a conditional box, which is a rectangular box with um, oval edges. So it is something like this. And we'll use the conditional box only when the output is high or one and when the output is zero or low there is no need to use this conditional box going from one state to the other so that is one rule which is very very important so i'll put a star next to it the conditional box is only used when the output uh, transition is one going from one state to the other now keeping these uh, small uh, rules in mind it is very very easy to draw the ASM chart from a state diagram now in order to illustrate that I have I have a state transition diagram or a state diagram for a Miele machine and this is a one input Miele machine because you can see that this part is known as the input that we give while we are at the state S0 and this is the output that we get uh, while providing an input 0 at state 1 and of course it stays at state 0 is a different uh, matter but when we give an input 1 the output is also 1 and at the same time it changes itself to state S2 and I hope the difference between a Miele and a Mura machine is clear because in the next tutorial we'll go going to draw ASM chart for Mura machine so an understanding of the state diagrams is very very important to uh, proceed with the drawing of ASM chart so let us begin the drawing of ASM chart the ASM chart for this particular state diagram will have three state boxes 
so we need to start from box 1 so what we are going to do is we will draw this state box which is a representative of state S0 and an input single input X is coming now while we stay at S0 we have two options which is represented using a decision box so while at state zero, S0 we could encounter an input 0 or a 1 so that is how you need to make it and we see that when the input is 0 the state does not change so we remain at state S0 so I'll take this uh, arm of the decision back to S0 but we need to keep in mind the conditional box presence here because as I mentioned when the output is high we need to draw it and when the output is 0 we do not need to draw it now here in this case the output is 0 so we do not need to draw this conditional box so we can straight away take it to S0 back to the state where it originated when the input is 0 and at the same time when the input is 1 it goes to state S2 so we need to draw another state S2 and S0 will go to S2 when an input 1 is encountered and at the same time the output is also high output is also 1 so a conditional box will also be used so we'll draw a conditional box and we'll say that the output which is Y has transitioned itself to a higher state just the presence of this conditional box during the state transition will tell that the output was 1 so we go to state 2 via the conditional box that's the only key point here that needs to be taken care of and when we are at the state 2 we again have two decisions to make one will be 0 another one will be 1 or a false or a true condition while at state 2 if we encounter a 0 we go back to state 2 but with an output of 1 so we'll use a conditional box and go back to S2 and when we have an input 1 we go to state 1 and the output is 0 so we draw the third and final state S1 and we go to that state when the input is 1 and the output is 0 so we do not draw any conditional box here so it is pretty simple and finally when at S1 we encounter two options a 0 or a 1 a 0 at S1 will take us back to S1 without any conditional box because the output is 0 and a 1 will take back to S0 and of course with a conditional box because the output is also 1 so with a condition that the output is present as 1 we go back to S0 so that is how we draw the ASM chart for a state diagram of a melee machine uh, please understand melee machine would have these conditional boxes here because the output is specified along the transitional paths however in the Mure machine the outputs are fixed to the states themselves 
so that is why no conditional box will be required there so it's a key point that these conditional point these conditional boxes are going to be used only in Miele machine Mure machines are easier to design or easier to draw in terms of ASM chart because of the absence of conditional boxes now having understood and having drawn one such ASM chart we could uh, enumerate its benefits the first benefit is that it represents physical hardware so for example we need these many state boxes and these many conditional boxes and these many uh, decision boxes in our hardware so it will tell us about the amount of hardware physical hardware required and secondly uh, the operation is easily understood the operation of any digital system is easily understood just by looking at this ASM chart thirdly both combinational and sequential circuits can be designed using this chart and finally several equivalent forms can be represented using ASM charts and it's a better representation of the state and the output tables on any fine day so I'll take up one more example of a melee machine to illustrate uh, the ASM chart so I have another question where we need to draw the ASM chart of the given melee machine so we'll quickly draw this now that we have the understanding of how this works so this has three states so the first state will be T naught we have two decisions to make so input is just one so we have a zero or a one uh, so zero will take us back to T naught without any output as one one will take us to T one so when we give a one we go to T one and the output is zero so no conditional box is required at T1 we again have a decision to make we have a 0 we have a 1 and a 0 will take me to T2 which is another state and the output is 0 so no conditional box again and the 1 will take me back to T1 and the output is 0 so no conditional box here as well so, and at T2 again we have an option of getting an input 0 and a 1 a 0 at T2 will take me to T0 so I go back to my first state and the output is 0 so no conditional box again and a 1 will take me back to T1 and this time around the output is 1 so I'll put a conditional box the output is present so I go back to T1 like this so that is how the ASM chart of this Miele machine is drawn and I hope the conversion of a state transition diagram into an ASM chart is clear now with these two examples and if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and if you liked the content of the channel consider subscribing to it i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye